Happy holidays, everybody. And Tony here with a tribute to a Christmas special from a Looney Tunes short that has left me rolling on the floor with laughter for many years. I'm talking about Gift Wrapped, starring Granny, Hector the Bulldog, Sylvester the Cat, and Tweety Bird from Looney Tunes, which was released on February 16, 1952. This was directed by Frizz Freeling. It was produced by Warren Foster. The music was composed by Carl Stalling. The animation was done by Arthur Davis, Manuel Perez, Virgil Ross, and Ken Champin. The layouts were done by Holly Pratt, and the backgrounds were done by Irv Weiner. I remember catching this on Cartoon Network ever since I was a young boy, and I could still remember just how much Gift Wrapped left me on the floor rolling with laughter that I nearly busted a gut because of just how hilarious this was. And it was all thanks to the gags, the jokes, and the quotability coming out from Sylvester's, Tweety's, and Granny's mouth. And especially that ending where Granny was playing Hark the Herald Angel Sing alongside Tweety singing and with Sylvester's and Hector's mouths being stamped. Therefore, Gift Wrapped has found an extremely special place in my heart for being an absolutely hilarious Looney Tunes Christmas special. And it managed to still keep me laughing as an adult to this very day. Now you might think that with the opening narration consisting of the first stanza of Twas the Night Before Christmas, that you might believe that this would be down to earth and quite quiet, notwithstanding Sylvester interrupting the narrator. But it could not be farther from the truth as when Sylvester wakes up one Christmas morn to see what's under the Christmas tree, all he ever found as his gift was a rubber mouse. And that is until he ends up hearing singing from Tweety Bird, in which he is actually a present for Granny, does he end up tricking Granny into believing that the rubber mouse was hers and Tweety was his thus causing Granny to be befuddled until she finds out what Sylvester has done, that she spanks him on his bottom to spit Tweety out. This also ensues all the attempts that Sylvester had to do in order to have Tweety all to himself. Even when Tweety tricks Sylvester into believing that that big present is his, he actually ends up being devoured by Hector, who then ends up being spanked by Granny, saying that he should spit him out. That doesn't stop Sylvester from trying to get Tweety all to himself, but with some failed attempts as Granny ended up being ahead of the game and even gave Sylvester a well-deserved wallop with a broom. And it all comes to head when Tweety ends up being swallowed by Sylvester after playing with his toy train. And in turn, Sylvester ends up being devoured by Hector, thus causing Granny to have... Hector spit Sylvester out by spanking him on his butt and the same thing that she did to Sylvester and Granny becomes so fed up that once she and Tweety ended up singing Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Sylvester's and Hector's mouths are stamped, thus making this a very hilarious way to end this particular Christmas special. So what more can I say about Gift Wrapped? It was a Looney Tunes short that managed to leave me with abundant smiles, abundant laughter, and just how much it was able to leave me in such a positive mood. And positive mood was just a mere understatement. It left me feeling absolutely elated at its hilarity and just how much it was able to make me smile, especially one memorable moment in terms of Sylvester's attempts where he tried to play Cowboys and Indians with Tweety. Does he end up being thwarted by Granny stating that you didn't count on having Pocahontas playing your games, huh, Geronimo? <laughs> Which I thought was just so hilarious. And one can't deny the wonderful animation this particular short had to offer thanks to the hard work done by the likes of Frizz Freeling and his crew. But it's also the voice actors who were able to bring life to these iconic characters. Let's face it, there's a reason why Mel Blanc 
is known as the man of a thousand voices, and that is his impeccable talent of varying his vocal skills in order to give life to Sylvester and his lisping, and of course, just how funny he is as a character, and Tweety's saccharine cuteness, and make them as iconic as they are as characters. And B. Benedict's granny was absolutely hilarious, thanks to her nasal, peaky voice that managed to be thoroughly entertaining from beginning to end, and she left me with a lot of smiles and joy. And I also have to give credit to Dawes Butler for the opening narration, as he was able to bring some good holiday cheer and a down-to-earth vibe to this particular Christmas special. So without intending any pun, Gift Wrapped was a wonderfully wrapped present with hilarity, charm, and a lot of great skill from the animators and the voice actors. This was definitely a great treat I had, one that I enjoyed ever since I was a kid, and one that I still come back to to this very day as an adult. And for those of you who had a lot of fond memories with Looney Tunes gift wrapped, what'd you think of it? Was there a particular moment that left you rolling on the floor with laughter, whether it be the ending with Granny and Tweety singing Hark the Herald Angels Sing with Sylvester and Hector's mouths being stamped? Did you also love the constant scenes of Sylvester trying to get Tweety but only being thwarted by Granny? Or did you feel like this short did not hold up so well? Comment below and let me know. Well, that's it for my tribute to Gift Wrapped from Looney Tunes. Tune in much later for my tribute to the Nutcracker Scoob from the new Scooby-Doo Mysteries. So until then, happy holidays, everybody!